So, you want to work in the science lab? Oh, it's so wild and exciting in here! <laughs> but remember, you must follow every teensy wincy safety rule. A boom, boom, shaka laka laka boom, hit it! When you're working in the lab, and that is so cool, hey, there's a lot to remember, so don't be a fool, listen up! Never tinker in the lab without a teacher or adult. Never take chances for the very best results. There are chemicals and substances that could get in your eyes. In so, the morals of that story, always wear safety goggles. And if I do say so myself, they are quite attractive. <laughs> Running and playing in the lab is something you should not do. And don't drink or eat anything when uh, you don't have a clue. Uh, you know. Without a doubt, it will look very interesting, but it could be very dangerous. Please be careful. Notify your teacher if there is an accident or spill. And never smell a chemical directly. You'll be sorry. Oh, yeah, you'll be sorry. Oh, yes, you will. We will need a spectrophotometer, 25 ml graduated cylinder, 100 ml volumetric flask beaker, copper tube sulfate, test tube rack and test tubes, digital scale, weighing boat, a Kim wipe. Measure out about 3 grams of copper tube sulfate. Add the copper tube sulfate to the volumetric flask. Pour some water into the flask and dissolve. Fill the rest of the flask up to the line with water. Using a graduated cylinder, measure out 5 ml, 10 ml, 15 ml, and 20 ml of solution. Fill each graduate cylinder with 25 ml of water. They will be used to create five solutions of different molarity. Fill so each of the five test tubes about two thirds of the way full with the four different solutions and the unknown solution. Turn on the spectrophotometer and set the wavelength to 780 nanometers. Remember to clean the test tubes with a Kim wipe before putting it into the spectrophotometer. With a blank sample, set the transmittance to 100. An empty sample compartment. Set the transmittance to 0. Change the mode from transmittance to absorbance. The spectrophotometer to measure the absorbance of the solution. Record your data. 